Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dane August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right into this gel polish nail art video. Right here I'm showing you the brushes that I'll be using and a dotting tool. These are all from Beauty Galleria from that set that I picked up from Amazon. I'm using base coat and top coat from Gershon and the R just means I haven't used um, them on glitter. Here I'm using Model 1 Solid Cream 02, 6, 13, and 17. I'm using Model 1's 1072, Model 1's Christmas Tree, Lavender Violets number 13, and finally I will be using Model 1's Matte Top Coat. So let's jump right in. We are applying a mix of Model 1's Christmas Tree and Model 1's Solid Cream number 13 to get this really nice green, and I will be applying this just, um, yeah, just about there. I stopped just about there with that green. And then I go in with Lavender Violets number 13. I love this color. It's like a really nice coral. Not too dark, just right there for like this type of season, like spring vibes. And I'm going in with, this is number six. Yes, this is Model 1 Solid Cream number six. Now these solid creams were pretty thick, so I did add a bit of top coat to loosen them up so they can give me gel polish like fluidity. And now this is 1072 for Model 1s. And we're proceeding with these colors, guys, because we are gonna be doing a blend. And all of these colors just, I don't know, they came to me, literally it closed my eyes. I was like, these are the colors I'm gonna work with. So here is uh, Model 1 uh, 017, and that's also been watered down a little bit with some top coat. So I tried to use my armory brush on that. I deleted the footage. You shall never see it because it's atrocious. So I just went back to <laughs> my method of using a detail brush and just flicking it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, up and down the nail. And this, I don't know why I did it any other way than this because this to me is the best way to get you a lovely blend. And um, by the time you guys see it, you will agree with me. And I will say that I only had to do one coat of this. Yeah. I'm not gonna, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's right, one coat. Yeah, your girl, one coat. I do cure this for a full 60 seconds in the lamp. And here you can see them, I did three of them. I mean, y'all, that looks like a pretty darn good landscape, right? Okay, so because of the flicking I did with my brush, we got a bit of, you know, little ripples. We got a little bit of wrinkling right there because I added too much of that green. So I'm just applying the base coat from Gershon and curing it for 30 seconds just to get a smooth surface. There goes the baby. <laughs> and then I applied the Model 1's matte top coat off camera. So here they are matte. Now let's jump right into this gel polish art. I'm going in with Model 1 Solid Cream number two and my um, liner brush. And I'm just creating a slanted line from one point one end of the nail to the other. And I'm using my favorite brush for one stroke. Even though this isn't a one stroke brush, the method in itself is one stroke because it's just the one stroke. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I tilted the nail ever so slightly to make a bit of a curve with these strokes. And I continue to use this line as a guide so that I can have basically the first of my petals for this flower that we'll be creating. And then I tilt my brush and I make it to the corners basically and then I press down on the corner and tilt my brush upwards. And now I'm adding more petals. I've already cured that first row of petals. I've cured that for 60 seconds and now I'm adding some petals in between petals. And then I'm just continuing to go because this, the way I'm like laying these petals down, it's gonna look like we're looking at the flower from an angle of sorts. You just, you kind of have to just buckle down with me and like trust the process. Cause it's gonna look, you know, okay. <laughs> That's what it's gonna look like, even though I wasn't English. <laughs> So um, now I'm just gonna create some petals just flowing off in the wind. Oh man, I love this landscape. I'm so excited with how this blend turned out. And even the flowers, this is not how I ideally wanted them to look or even the method I was thinking of doing, but hey, this is what happened. So now I'm adding another flower and this would be the second nail. This is the nail that's sitting in the middle. I'm adding a second flower, just a little bit taller than the first. It's actually taller and bigger than the first that we drew. And the, along these three nails, we're gonna create a picture of sorts. And here I am following the same process again, adding bigger flowers, uh, sorry, uh, petals just on the outer side and bringing them down, curving them, tilting them, and yeah. 
just creating a look of a very very uh flushed flower so in 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 retrospect we're sort of like let's just say you were lying on the ground in a beautiful field wearing a lovely sundress and you just looked up and there were the flowers and through the through looking up at the flowers you were also looking at the landscape and also looking ever so gently to the sky which is literally what a day in the bahamas is like so y'all can be jealous a little bit a little bit a little bit <laughs> so here i am creating another flower um on the third nail and right here is where i'm sort of like scoring that nail like I'm measuring to see where the bigger flower would just sort of leap from the second nail onto the third and just continue on because it's so dang big that's a big old flower y'all it's spring big flowers are out they're in sorry well they're in but they out you see what I'm saying they're out because it's spring and they're in because it's spring yeah and y'all know what I'm saying so now I'm just like tidying up the look a little bit a little 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 flower petal in the wind there you know, a little flower petal in the wind over here. And I'm loving it. I don't know what time of day this might be. Maybe like it's just a little ways before sunsets, but I don't know. It's, it's a time of the day, I'm sure, when all the colors just blend in and they look just like that. So now I'm adding, um, I add a little bit of Christmas tree to that mix that we created, just to darken it up a little bit. I did want to go in with solid Christmas tree because that was super dark. And here I'm just creating um, basically the stem, the, the bud, stem part that's still connected to the flower that part so I'm just connecting that I'm adding that to all of the flowers and I think it, I don't know you guys would have to let me know like at what point did you like get the look like did this look like a job I actually erased that line that I drew by the way that it wasn't working for me but um, at what point in the um, art did you did you like yeah I, I get the vision I get the vision let me know down in the comments also let me know how you're enjoying your spring so far I know it's still winter for other people but it's always summer here in the Bahamas and well we, we sort of have a spring we do it's it's in you can it, it's on the calendar per se um, and if you haven't liked this video already, just just go do that. Like, go, go do that right now. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff. Um, share, share with a friend. Share with your dog. Share with your grandma and your dog. Just, I don't know. Share with whoever you want to share with. So here I'm just pulling out little little like little bits of that green, making like like it connects to the flower because it is a part of the flower. So. And then I cure everything for a period of about 30 seconds to 60 seconds just to make sure it's nice and cured before I move on to the next step. And here I'm just adding Gershon top coat. And I know this looks a bit tedious, but anything for the art, man, you know, anything for the art. And then I cure this for a full 60 seconds. And guys, that is the end of the look. I'm a big fan of shiny arts work of art on um, Matt. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to the description list below and a video and picture of the finished product. I love you for watching. Promise to see you in the next one. Bye.